Welcome to a new video. I am back on the bank and today I'm actually on the riverbank. Yes, I've come out for a very, very short session. I've literally just dropped my lad off at school. He's got half days at the moment. So I thought while I dropped him off, I'd go a little bit further down to a lovely little hidden stretch of river. It's very underfished, lovely, intimate little venue, really, really overgrown and yeah, hardly touched. It's almost untouched bit of river now obviously it's been fished over the years but it really doesn't get a lot of attention and it's a lovely little place it's got some really good quality fish in it and it's actually got some game fish in it it's got some trout and some grayling now i've never actually caught a grayling and that is one of my goals is to catch a grayling this autumn and winter so i've been hoping to do it for a few years i've never really got around to it and i do know that this does produce the old grayling so i've come down for a little bit of a go and i've brought an old bit of kit with me. I've actually bought my John Wilson Avon rod with me. Now, it was the first rod I ever owned. It's caught thousands of fish for me, and it's an absolute wicked bit of kit. Definitely seen better days, but I brought it out, sort of dusted it off, put some new line on the reel, brought it out with me. I'm gonna trot down um, some real sort of uh, shallow runs and just introduce a little bit of maggot little and often and just trot it through and see if we can get a few bites. Not really bother what I catch. I would love to catch a grayling. It's not guaranteed, but I'm gonna try. But yeah, I've only got about an hour, maybe an hour and a half fishing before I need to shoot back and pick him up at lunchtime. So let's stop talking, let's crack on and let's see if we can catch one. This is the rod. As you can see, it is a John Wilson Masterline. So it's obviously John Wilson sort of design rod made for Masterline, who we were sponsored by for many, many years. And um, it's a lovely rod, um, rated at about a pound and a quarter, sort of three to six pound line. And um, yeah, it's kind of a sort of half cork, half duplon sort of finish. As you can see, very, very worn, very used. I've caught loads of fish on this over the years. Um, I've got a little sort of Drenham cheap sort of float reel on here. I think it's a feeder reel actually, it just allows me to use slightly heavier line on it. I've got this loaded up with four pound. And then I've got a um, sort of chub float, chubber float, um, well, a loafer float, I think this is. Um, quite a heavy one um, because um, it is really shallow and got a reasonable bit of flow on it. And then I've got a Olivet just balancing that out there. So, um, yeah, the hook length is um, about two and a half pound. Main line's four pound. I have got a little micro swivel there, and that's just to attach the hook length and um, stops any sort of line twists. And it basically means that top section then is all ready to go. And I can adjust the uh, the flow to the depth of the, the swim. It's going to be pretty shallow through here. And then I've obviously got that hook length about 18 inches below of two pound or two and a half pound down to, I think, uh, a size 18. So very sort of light work, but I'm going to put it through at about sort of two, two and a half foot to start with. So I've got a bait pouch just with a few red maggots. And what I'm doing is taking a pinch, just flicking them up to the top of the run. It's trotting through lovely at the moment. Oh, we've had a bite. It's a good sign. Oh, we're in, we are in. Oh, nice. Is that a trout? I think that could be a trout. It is, it's a lovely little trout. <laughs> I suppose that makes sense. That's normally the first sort of thing you'd end up getting. There we go then, first bite. Lovely little brownie. 
Beautiful little fish. Proper natural fish that. Probably born and bred in here. But we're, uh, we're sticking straight back. So all I'm doing is I've, I've got a little, I think it's an 18 little red hook. I'm just putting two maggots just very, very lightly nicked on. That way they wriggle about, really attractive. Just need to make sure we keep that line mended. And again, just give it a few more maggots. You want to just keep feeding. The key is not to put loads in, but to keep it going in all the time. Just little pinches of maggots, just to keep those fish coming up on that flow, looking for a food. I've actually done a lot of um, like small water float fishing like this over the years. Kind of my bread and butter when I was a kid. Absolutely love this style of fishing. And I've done so much carp fishing the last sort of 10, 15 years. I've not done as much as this. I do still do a little bit, but nowhere near as much as I used to. So it's something I really want to get back into. And oh, at the bottom have we got one? Oh, there we got one. Oh, I thought it was a bottom then. Oh, it looks like a lovely, lovely rope. Oh, he's come off. Ah. There's clearly a few fish underneath that, uh, underneath that tree down there, because that's exactly the same place as had that bite off that roach. God, look at the, look how fat that guy is. I mean, the advantage with this 11 foot rod is um, because it's such a short river, I'm uh, sorry, narrow river, I can pretty much keep the line off of the water when it is to my right, which means I can obviously get a really nice consistent trot through. And then when it comes to my left, I can then start laying the line on. And what I mean by that is laying it, laying it on the surface behind it. So it's in a nice line. There we go. It's not just a case of chucking it out and just letting it sort of trundle down. You've, you, you've, got, to, you've got to let it go through properly to get a nice run so that the bait presents well. And it obviously looks nat as natural as you can to the fish. My finger is, is trapping the line. And all I do is just take a little bit of line off, trap it with my finger, take a bit of line off, trap it with my finger. And that way if I get a bite, it's coming to the end of the road now, but when I get a bite, you can then strike. You can just put your, put your finger over the line and it gives you something to tighten to, to then strike. Oh, we had a bite already. Oh, jeez. Oh, how did I miss that? That sells a little minnow. I think those maggots have uh, brought the old minnows out in force. I've been fishing this for... Oh, 25 minutes. Oh, that's a better fish. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Oh, yeah. Much better fish. We've got a nice chub. There we go. That fish has clearly come up on that... Uh, on that maggot. Not a big fish, but... Uh, much better than what we've had so far. Oh, lovely. There we go. Nice little chub. And, um, don't know if you can see that, but there's, um, a load of maggots down his gob. Well, that might be just touching bottom. Nope. Oh, nice roach. Oh, I might better just swing that in. Oh, that's a lovely fish. Look how red that is. Oh, it's a rud. It's a rud, not a roach. That's why it looks so lovely in gold, uh, orange. God, that's a beautiful little fish. Oh, and again. What have we got now? Oh, that was a trout. That looked a really nice trout as well.
well, as you can see, I've moved in to another swim. It is really awkward to fish in here. The bank's on quite a slope. I'm going to go on the right side of this tree and just trot it down through. And let's chuck it into that main flow. Let it drop down and off she goes. Oh, it's getting pulled down a bit. Oh, is that a bite? Oh, it is. I thought I got pulled under by the flow then, but we gotta say it's the first fish and it is a absolute Goliath minnow. That is a, quite a big minnow. It's dropping back in. Oh, it's just coming up to a lovely tree. Hopefully you can see on the GoPro. Oh, it's just going up under a tree. It's just dipped down. Oh, is that a fish? Yeah, it is. Yeah, we're in. Oh, what we got here then? Oh, it's come off. Oh. That's a better fish, whatever that was. Literally just right up underneath a sunken tree, just uh, up to the left side of the swim as it slows down a bit. Following a slightly different path now, it's going up along that bank. Is that a bite or is that... No, that's probably touching the bottom. Definitely think we're better off ledgering in here. That's just getting caught up in there now. Oh, that was a bite though. Hmm. I'm going to end up... Oh, we've got a, <laughs> got a minnow. So the problem here is... Um, I can't even see some of the bites. It looks like a bite, but it's really hard to tell. That minnow's actually uh, managed to engulf that. So, if we can unhook him. Right, well, that is the end of the session now. I'm all packed up and um, I'm gonna head back to the van. Luckily, I've only got to walk about 200 yards because I'm in the first swim, just to round off the end of the session. Just did that last couple of trot throughs in that swim. Unfortunately, just a couple of minnows, not much really going on. That first swim was definitely the best one. Building it up with um, those maggots, litting and often, definitely got some bites coming along. And um, we had a few nice fish, nothing massive, and um, not absolute stacks of fish, but a nice sort of hour or two's fishing, just getting some bites, fishing with the old John Wilson rod, and um, yeah, putting it back through its paces and getting a bend in it again. So it's really good fun. I've really enjoyed it. And it's um, nice to get out and do a different bit of fishing. I'm hoping to bring a lot more different styles of fishing to the channel, as we have said in the past, instead of just solely carp fishing. I know a lot of our following like the carp fishing, but we obviously want to fish for other species as well. But anyway, I need to go and get my son before I end up turning up late and get told off by the teachers. So let's head back and um, pick him up. Hopefully you've liked the video. If you have, give it a thumbs up smash that subscribe button if you've enjoyed what you've watched check out some of the other videos as well there's a lot of content on the channel and um, lots of good stuff for you to watch so check it out and we do run a monthly giveaway to um thank you guys for subscribing and supporting us as well so anyway until next time get on the bank be lucky and i will see you in the next video i've got to try and get past these cows